Um, typical start on a Tuesday morning, get up about 3 a.m. Uh, we bought all the fish the day before from the British Isles all around the co all the different coastlines and where there's not gales and storms and availability is good. Then as you can see it comes into us on overnight transport which we just unloaded. Uh, not so cold today, it's minus two here yesterday. Uh, and then you see we've got all the fish into here this morning. There's just over 200 stone of fresh fish into us this morning. We normally take about 150 stone of fresh fish a day. Uh, a lot of it from uh, sustainable areas. Uh, and managed fishing grounds which obviously all helps to all of our futures in years to come and the younger ones who work here as well. And we're just in the process of picking and packing and getting all the stock to the covered market shop now. Well on a Tuesday we have an exotic delivery so that's come from all around the world but we only do it twice a week just with a caution in mind of air miles and everything. That only happens on a Tuesday and a Thursday. So that's where your tuna, your swordfish, this swordfish here comes from. This is from Sri Lanka, this swordfish. And all of this is, is fresh. There's nothing frozen here at all, it's all fresh every day. Uh, today, well they, they do part of their own buying and we do the rest of the buying for them because we're in touch with the ports all day long, 24 hours a day. Um, and we really get best of catch. Whatever is best on the day, we buy. Um, it's on like an auction based sort of market um, and we, we bid for it. But you know, they've <laughs> been around nearly 100 years, they know who we are, they know the quality we expect, they know what we won't have. Um, so it's actually quite an easy operation, albeit it's a, an early long hour shift, hard working operation. It is quite a, a general easy operation to get underway. And now we've got to get off to the covered market to get it up there. Customers started coming in about 7.30. So on a Tuesday where you're waiting for the trunkers to come from all over the British Isles into Enfield and then Enfield to us. It's a bit, uh, it's all systems go on a Tuesday. Just to get it done, we don't like to let anybody down. And uh, I mean, our customers are a very loyal band up here. They're very regular and generally we know what they want. So we try to look for that all the times and a few different things along the way today. 80 different varieties from your cod, your haddock, your pollock, your lings, certain types of rope, certain types of... Straight in the shop in, please. If we unload and come straight back out with a trolley, please. Um, to your more exotic, to your snappers, to your to your bream, to your bass, to your scallops, your tuna, your swords. It's endless. We just check all the fish that's come in. Uh, we do buy the fish on a daily basis the day before. Uh, and then we just check the, the fish that's come in, that we've got the right quantity, the right quality. Uh, once that's all put aside, then we start making our displays, putting the fish out for the customers. Uh, we try and make everything nice and big and like a traditional fish market, you know. So we, we have boxes outside here with herrings and mackerels and snappers and all these different types of fish that we get in. Uh, the counters, we always try and make them a little bit entertaining so that people look at the fish, the fish just isn't lying there, it's jumping out of here saying, come and buy me, basically, you know. So, and that's what we'll be doing now for the next hour or so. Then after that is all the preparation work. If we've got any shop orders that need preparing, customers phone up the day before, say, right, I need the turbo fillets, I need whatever fillets. We prepare those fish, get them sorted. So we always tell the customers, the fish is ready for nine o'clock. They might want to pick up at four o'clock, that's not a problem, but we like to get the fish sorted well in advance before they come in. When you're doing displays, you've got to try and create something that's bold and brash and appealing to customers. That basically shows the freshness of the fish. It's something which, like I say, trying to do and trying to do displays, you're thinking, right, this will go here, that will go there. You're trying to combine colours as well, just to get everything nice and blacks with the, the reds, next to the whites and that so forth. It just all stands out, shouts out to the customers then. Um, but like I say, when you've been doing it a few years, it becomes second nature. Yeah. And our ice machine is the fishmonger's saviour there. That's, if we didn't have the ice machine, it'd make life a lot harder. Because uh, traditionally it was always on marble slabs, the fishmongers. But these days now it's all stainless steel and iced up. There's a, a huge diverse of cultures and nationalities in, in Oxford. Obviously a lot to do with the, the universities, you know, uh, people come from abroad to, to study. But um, yes, we get a lot of Mediterranean people here. Uh, obviously, they love their, their shellfish. Uh, so we, we do sell a lot of mussels, a lot of clams, 
um, obviously oysters, langoustines, prawns, all the, all the stuff that goes in paellas, that sort of, those, those sort of dishes. Um, and then we also have a lot of people from the Far East as well. So we, we do sell a lot of uh, fish for sushi. Uh, so salmon, um, tuna, mackerel. Uh, basically, well, sushi is any fish that's fresh enough, you can eat it raw. You know, so we always advise customers which is the, the freshest and the best fish of the day. So if Sunny wants a, a nice piece of tuna for eating raw sushi, then we'll always get a, a fresh loin in, cut it up, and then the customer takes it away. Well, Heyman's has been here since 1928. Um, originated exactly where the shop is now, what on the corner. It was, it was an ice and fish merchant in them days. One of you can go, gents. One of you just stay for a minute, please. Um, in 19, that was in 1928. His name was Charles Heyman. He sold a lot more ice than he did fish, I believe. Um, but he was the only, at the time, fishmonger there, I understand. Um, under the current ownership in 1983, uh, it was taken over. It's still under the same uh, ownership. And I've been here 15 years now. Came as a trainee fishmonger. And we, we've grown and grown the business. And you know we've had some great support from all the colleges and local businesses around which have always been very good to Heyman's and we've always been very good to them with good quality and good controls. Um, great service from the drivers and everybody else and all the fishmongers that we have. Um, to what we are today, which is a, a bit of a connoisseur with fish. So we've gone from probably 20 varieties daily to a minimum of 80, up to over 100 of, on a Saturday of different fresh options. Um, there's obviously massive uh, growth areas, frozen fish as well whereby a lot of people try these things on holidays and they might go halfway around the world. You can't get them fresh if it's halfway around the world or very rarely. So we get offer a frozen option as well, um, which is extremely popular, especially down no other place in Oxford. Um, and then we offer uh, smoked, tinned and preserved. Um, and we've just put in a smokery. So that, that's the latest thing to come will be the bespoke smokery, uh, which we can smoke anything you want to your own recipe if you wish. Most people have been here a very long time um, there are a few newcomers, but it takes them quite a few years to adapt to our way of life, if you like. It's hustle, it's bustle, it's razzmatazz, it's having fun. It's working hard, but it's having fun. Um, most of the traders, if not all the traders, get on very well with each other and we all trust each other. It's a nice place to work and it's great. And that's why so many people of Oxford continue to come week after week, month after month, year after year. They love the service and the, the quality is fantastic everywhere.